Hello and welcome to another episode where we are continuing our from the last one, our last video where we stayed, we ended up in Cobar. Uh, stayed the night in Cobar and your thoughts on that? How did you go last night? Did not sleep. Yep, it was, I think it was around 30 degrees all night, uh, even with a bit of rain. Um, I only just found out this morning, well I did, I don't know about you, but New South Wales is in a bit of a heat wave, I think it was regional New South Wales, but it was bloody hot. We had all the windows open, we had the fans going, still hot. <laughs> but a nice little town that one, we did get a coffee on the way out and pretty much straight out of there on the road again, continuing to Queensland where today, or this episode, touch wood. We should make it. We should make it into Queensland. Uh, we have to go back half an hour? Yeah. Forwards half an hour. Back. Back. And losing, losing track of time zones and... Gain half an hour. Righto. That's good. We need to gain some time. Um, but anyway, we're going to keep on moving. Hopefully get into Queensland. We've got around 13... 1100. 1100 to go. Um, so hopefully by the end of the day we'll have... Less than 700. Be good. Be really good. Anyway, let's get into it. Get driving, even though I already am driving. You want to drive? No, I want to sleep. <laughs> So we've just come through Burke and pulled up on the other side here. Right on the side of the road, but check this out. How cool is that? That's bloody awesome that. But I'm, I'm guessing he's spraying cotton or something because there is a cotton field just over there. Uh, we've been past a couple of different cotton fields but that's bloody awesome to see. Coming off that field is so low. Good sleep? Yeah. <laughs> right, hey, we've made it to the border. Another border. Not that one. Welcome to Queensland. Oh, it's hot out here. I've never been up here to see a sign. <laughs> well, we're out of New South Wales. And just across that fence there, into Queensland, but. We're still the only little sticker on the corner here. So I reckon most people must go across to Lightning Ridge. Um, I'm not too sure, but weird. That little sticker's still in the corner there, which is pretty cool to see. Mm. 
and it looks like we're going into a bit of a storm. Cross into Queensland and straight into a storm. Uh, much like last time we were here. What happened last time? Storm. <laughs> the same spot? Dirabandi. Dirabandi. <laughs> well, it looks like something's, something's brewing up there. Anyway, keep on going, huh? Yeah. Let's go. Well, we've made it into St. George uh, at, what is it, six o'clock? Right on time, there is a couple of free camps around St. George. We've stayed here before. We are going to get some diesel. Probably go and find a free camp before it gets too dark because it is dark and stormy out there. We did get a fair bit of rain coming into town, um, but it stopped now, so hopefully it holds off. And let's get some diesel. 199.9, .9, so under $2 a litre. I'm going to need a full tank. So we've got 49 k's remaining and what have we done? 565 kilometers today. That's really good. We've got 590. 600 kilometers remaining in two days. Two days? Don't know. Two and a half. Two and a half. Oh, we've got loads of time then. <laughs> so we made really good time. Um, anyway, let's get some diesel, fill up, go find somewhere to camp, have dinner. There we go, 123 litres, 246 bucks. Um, hopefully, hopefully that's the last time we fill up before Noosa. Uh, we'll see how we go there, but that's a little bit weird as well. We're missing 20, well, 26 and a bit litres, which is somewhere in there. I'm gonna say it's a reserve tank or something like that, but um, just a little bit weird. Anyway, let's go put dinner on and find a camp. We'll find a camp and put dinner on. Right, oh, this is us. This is the, well, there's a rest area. Just on the other side of town. Town is over there across the bridge, but truck rest stop over here. Uh, a big rest area here. And this is all brand new. Toilets, little bench. I think this was getting built when we were through here last time, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. Uh, I think this was all here, but the truck rest area wasn't sealed at all. It was a big dusty mess. But this is all right. It um, doesn't even come from wiki camps, does it? No. No. No signs saying you can't do it or anything. It has got a sign at the, sun, at the front there saying rest area, so this is us. And hopefully, the weather holds off. <laughs> I might put the legs down on the caravan just to, um, just in case that wind comes up. Because we have been through some storms out this way. Horrible, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed it's nice and quiet as well. Old mate has got his truck running over there and a truck just did go past. Uh, it was nice and quiet and hopefully not a lot of people come through this way. Because I think we'll be having our windows open again as it is bloody hot. Still 32 degrees out here. Righto, chicken wings. In the oven. Job done. Hopefully they won't take too long, but we're finding ourselves using that little oven almost every day now. It's um, top notch for 150, 200 bucks or whatever they are. It might, be, might even be 250 bucks, but bloody top investment that one. Anyway, kick back and have a beer and check out that sunset. See that, Sage? stunning nice isn't it cheers everyone i guess uh, we're back in queensland first of many beautiful sunsets here
<laughs> what happened? So many flies, <laughs> midges. It's raining now too. It is, it's spitting. So we just worked out, I don't know how this is turning out in the camera here. Fire alarm's going off in there now, but the little bugs, we did have the windows open, the little bugs are managing to get through the fly wire and inside, so we've just bombed it. And we're gonna hope for the best. <laughs> Need the lights off, don't you? Yeah, realistically. All the windows are closed, you'll be right. Something. We left the GoPro in there as well, so. Sorted. <laughs> Top there, look, they're all starting to fall. So we got most of them into the, the bathroom, um, locked them away in there and just sort of bombed the bathroom. But that's a real pain in the ass that the, the fly wire fits bugs through them. Um, I don't really know what to do there, what we can do. As it's bloody hot, we've got to have the windows open. But also, if they're getting through the flyway, you can't have the lights on, can you? No. It's a real pain. Yeah, look at them. Well, that looks like all of them. It's been a good 10 minutes and there's a load on the floor. Um, it smells cleared up as well, it's got the aircon back on. Try and cool it down. So she gets to use her handy little Kmart weapon. But I just don't really know what to do there. <laughs> don't really know what to do. The, just the fly wire's not designed to be fly wire, which is really weird. Um, I don't know how we're going to have a cool night tonight, but I'll shut up. You can go. Thanks. So the verdict is we can't have that running all night. That's just not going to happen. I think the max we're going to get is two hours out of that. Um, I don't know. I've sort of been sitting here humming and harring at it for a while. I'm emptying all the beer in the car fridge. We don't want to go out there and get all the flies in here. But I think we're just gonna to have to open the windows and try and leave it like that. Hopefully these are breathable. Thoughts? <laughs> Could be another rubbish night's sleep. Yeah, it's, it's so hot. It's, um, I don't know, New South Wales and there's a little bit of Queenslander in a bit of a heat wave the last couple of days, apparently, on the radio. But, they look pretty breathable. I guess, I guess we'll see in the morning. Get him? Yes. <laughs> morning. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> so last night was a... What was the experience, wasn't it? Yeah, it was very hot. Very hot. Um, when we had the aircon sort of on and off, on and off, but it was just chewing through the battery, we're down to what, 20% now, after using the toaster and the kettle and all that sort of stuff in the morning here. Um, but the bugs as well, don't really know where we stand bug-wise. Uh, they just seem to get through these little holes in the fly wire, which is a bit weird. We did have all the lights off and opened all the windows up, cooled everything off, but it's still just bloody hot. Uh, so today, what have we got? Two days to go? Mm -hmm. Two days. Um, 700 kilometres remaining, so we're sort of humming and harring whether we're going to go in there early, book somewhere, book an extra night, a day early, a night early, uh, something like that, but I guess we'll see on the road. Um, we'll see how we go. Might even cool off, we never know. But anyway, we'll get into today. Um, keep on moving. Head through St George and keep going towards Noosa. And I found out my milk was curdled as well, so that's a, another good start to the day. I've got soya, uh, social soya milk in there, which should be an experience.
Right, oh, we've made it into Dolby. Yeah. Is it Dolby or Dolby? Which one? Either or. Dolby, I believe it is. Uh, but after a pretty average sleep last well, it wasn't average, it was horrible, wasn't it? <laughs> horrible sleep last night. Uh, me running out of milk. A horrible coffee with your soy milk. You drank it quickly. I know. Um, and a horrible road into Dolby from. Where do we come from? St. George. St. George. St. George into Dolby. That road's just horrible. Bouncing all over the place. Uh, also, Fiesa cars out there, so there's a couple of fires going on out there. Everything's under control. We got through, but yeah, pretty rough, pretty average morning. So, someone suggested. Did someone say KFC? KFC. <laughs> Uh, we haven't had fast food in a while actually, I haven't had it in ages, don't know about you. Um, so this is going to be an experience, it's already a good experience as KFC here in Dolby. Don't know if you can see that. Caravans only parking, so that's um, all set up for us isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's get in there, get some KFC and it is, what is it, 20 to 3. Yeah, right. righto. So I don't know where we're going to make it tonight. Mm. I guess we'll play that by ear. I and, have um, a rough idea, but... Navigator knows where she's going, so that's the main thing. But let's get some KFC and uh, keep on going on the road here. Ooh! Can we see? <laughs> get a burger. Yeah, potato and gravy. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want some? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna dip my chips in there. Nah, nah, nah. All right, I think that's going to do us. 440 kilometres down today. Uh, a nice and early day as well. How far out are we? An hour and seven, 170 kilometres. 170 kilometres? Yeah. So about an hour and a half, probably two hours with the caravan out of Noosa, and that is top notch. Um, two days remaining? Or a, day, a day and a half remaining. And a bit. Yep. Um, so I guess that's going to do us in this episode, but we're at a free camp, a donation camp, isn't it? Donation, yeah. Black Bart Sports... Grounds. Sports Grounds? Yeah. Uh, good little spot, this one, but it is starting to get pretty dark out there. It might rain again. We're not too sure what's going on there. Um, but anyway, that's going to do us. Hopefully on the next episode, we'll be into Noosa. Touch wood, should be. Um, and then looking at booking into a hotel, well, we're already booked into a hotel, but looking at getting into a hotel and actually relaxing for a little bit. You excited for that? Very. And a bit of shopping for you? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll end this one here and pick it up on the, I guess, the next episode. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Well, we've just come through Burke, and I don't know, everything's going good, but a plant, I don't know. Bro Warrener, Bro Warrener. Bray Warrener? Bray Warrener? I think, it's, I think it's Bray Warrener. I'll rip a little thing that... No.